Hi, everybody. Welcome back to another session. This is Victor from Spoken Learning. And today I want to talk to you about a special topic, as I already told you on another session. It is the Patriotic uh, Month for Mexico. So I have another date for you to explain today. But first, let me tell you and uh, let me remind you that Spoken Learning provides private Spanish lessons for children and adults, even if you don't know any Spanish at all, remember that. But also if you already have some experience and you want to take your skills to the next level, we can help you completely with that. Remember, we are not tutors, we are professional teachers. You can always call or text 832-413-3166 to enroll. That is for the presentation. So let's go. What do I mean by another, another special date? for the Patriotic Month on Mexico. Well, here I go. Allow me to share my screen with you. Uh, it's this one, yes, excellent. Okay, so let me explain you. Today, I am going to talk to you about Los Niños Héroes. What Los Niños Héroes is? Well, Los Niños Héroes, um, as I already told you, uh, September is the patriotic month in Mexico because it is the month, is in this month where the fight for independence both started and ended with an 11 year gap. It started on December 16, uh, 1910, and ended, no, no, 19, 18, sorry, 1810, and ended in September uh, 20, 21st, September 21st, and 1821. So those are the dates. So, uh, but not only that, hay otra fecha en que, Mexico, que en México conmemoramos como nos fue instruido, pues mayormente en la escuela, ¿verdad? And also the culture that we have in general told us and taught us about this specific date. Que son los niños héroes, as you already saw. Vamos a ver. This happened during the, during the year 1847, during the Mexican-American War that the Army of the United States invaded Mexico, the country, mostly based on the claim that both the U.S. and Mexico had about the territory of Texas, which was declared as an independent republic at the time, and the U.S. was looking for its annexation. So um, as the map you can see, this was the territory of Mexico in 1847. Well, actually not, not 47, this is a little bit uh, earlier. This is for 1845, 40, 44. And as you can see, all this uh, territory is called Alta California because this is Baja California. That is why today this territory is known as Baja California and this is California. They were called together as a single territory, Alta and Baja California. Then in here, it is the state of New Mexico. Mm -hmm. yes, this is here, New Mexico. And all this, the state of Texas. So all these three territories belong to Mexico. And as you can see, the, fo the form of the country today is this part. And Arizona, Arizona was also part of Mexico. So all those, all this, it's what is Mexico today. But obviously because of the war, uh, this, all this part when Mexico lost the war was, uh, was taken for the United Nations, the United Nations, <laughs> the United States. So this is the part that Mexico lost in that war. Yeah, but that is just context. Let me continue explaining. Mexico was not prepared for a war. La guerra de independencia mexicana había terminado hace menos de 30 años. El, el país se encontraba en plena reestructuración con muchos conflictos internos y de poderes. Uh, Mexico was not prepared at all for a war. Um, as you can see in these pictures, they're, they're just like drawings, right? But at the same time, you can see the way how people used to live in those in those times. They, 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 there will there was a lot of poor people struggling to to find every day's food you know so yeah it was it was difficult times uh, during this period of time el ejército mexicano estaba perdiendo muchas batallas i'm talking about the war of course uh, 
but also it was getting algunos triunfos. It, it was, pero también estaba consiguiendo algunos triunfos. Así que el gobierno estadounidense mandó la estocada final, capturar la capital del país, la Ciudad de México. So the, the Mexican army was losing a lot of battles, but also was getting some, some uh, triumphs in the, in the battlefield. So the, the American government sent the final movement to capture the capital of, this, of the country, Mexico City. And this is where our story begins. This is in, in the Battle of Chapultepec Castle, is this one. And this is a depiction, obviously, of what it was supposed to, to, to happen that, that day. Mexican forces were unprepared. Um, some, some sources says that the, the, Mexican, uh, the Mexican army was, it, it had more men. Some other says that it wasn't. Um, the truth is that Mexican forces were unprepared and the American forces had superior artillery. So they were more prepared. And the battle lasted, lasted only among 60 to 9 minutes, and Mexico lost the position and Tepultepec Castle was taken along with many soldiers captured. So sad, right? It sounds, it sounds pretty sad, but it, it was a long time ago already. So. Except for the cadets. These young cadets gave their lives to protect the castle during the battle, and today are remembered as heroes by giving their lives for their country. They were young boys between the ages of 13 to 16 years. Por eso son the hero boys, the heroic boys, uh -huh. not, not uh, hero children, hero, hero boys. Uh -huh. They were young kids. They were uh, Juan de la Barrera, Agustín Melgar, Fernando Montes de Oca, Vicente Suárez y Francisco Márquez. Um, they they were there. They were there also in the battle. They were they were kids also defending the country. There was a lot of them that decided not to do it because obviously they were kids. But the history says that they decided to fight against uh, the invaders at that time. So they decided to to be there and to be part of the the battle. Eh, el último Juan Escutia. Siendo mayormente recordado por haberse lanzado desde lo alto del castillo envuelto en la bandera de México para evitar que fuera capturado por el enemigo. So, this heroic kid took the flag and when he saw that Mexico was losing the battle, he decided to uh, cover himself with it, with the, with the flag, with the Mexican flag, and jump, uh, take a leap into the, into the, right into the floor. So, yeah. Obviously, he, he found his demise, but at the same time, it is remembered as a hero by not letting the, the invaders to capture the flag, right? Uh, it doesn't matter what is the actual thing of the war, what, what was those interests that we're having at the moment. Uh, it doesn't matter anymore. It's past history. But now this is one of the things we would like to remember that... Um, we we Mexicans stand no matter the the odds that we might have, and these kids are proof of that. That how heroic can can our people be? Finally, I have this one. This picture it is it is in inside Chapultepec Castle in the in the in the roof. No, not in the roof. In the ceiling. It is it is painted. In the ceiling and is depicting the fall of Juan Escutia when he was fighting against the the US Army and he decided to leap take leap from the top from the top part of the El Castillo de Chapultepec y así pues mantener a salvo la bandera mexicana que va como la, como pueden ver va envuelto en la bandera mexicana He's covering himself con, with the flag so that's pretty much it. I just wanted to bring you a piece of story today. I just wanted to bring you uh, something to, to, to remember, to have in consideration for a future for future references, kind of a little bit more of Mexico's story, because once again, we are in the patriotic month 
September is the patriotic month for Mexico. So that's pretty much it. I hope that you, you found interesting that information. Gracias por su atención. Y solo me queda recordarles que in Spoken Learning, we provide private Spanish lessons for children and adults. Even if you have no previous knowledge, remember that we can help you to start from scratch. Call or text 832-413-3166. And I will see you next time. Thank you.